Hey guys, today we talk about the Shine 2 Premium Boot by Sorel. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. Sometimes boots and sometimes clothes. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's get on with it. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Cheyenne 2 Premium Boot by Sorel in the Rustic colorway. Man, oh man, these boots are dope sauce. Glad to have caught these boots right here. This weekend I'm planning to go on a trip with my cousins in South Lake Tahoe, California. For those of you who don't know, in South Lake Tahoe it gets pretty gosh darn cold out there and you'll need some boots just in case it actually snows. So I decided to get a pair of waterproof boots and I'm really happy with my purchase because it is waterproof and at the same time it is stylish. But enough yapping guys, let's get straight into the review. So starting from the inside of the sneaker you'll notice that it's covered in a nice textile material that's nice and soft and when I put on the sneakers they're actually really soft and comfy on the inside in addition to that you have your ordinary foam insole that's not as quality as I would expect it to be but it doesn't do anything wrong to me it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable so overall it's fine on the outside you'll notice that it has a good quality premium leather on the top of the sneaker and apparently this premium leather is waterproof as well everything on this sneaker is waterproof which is really amazing at the same time again it is very stylish at the tongue of the sneaker you'll notice it has more of that premium leather in that rustic colorway that I personally really like in addition to that it has some nice rope shoelaces that are pretty sturdy in my opinion on the lateral portion you'll see the Sorel insignia with the bear as well which is a nice subtle touch moving a little bit lower on the upper you'll notice around the toe box and around the lower portion of the heel as well you have this rubber material that helps with the waterproof nature of this boot you'll notice more Sorel insignia at the back of the sneaker as well and also the midsole of the sneaker as well as the outsole of the sneaker is comprised of rubber as well on the upper portion or the midsole of the sneaker you'll notice that this particular rubber is what they call vulcanized rubber and the bottom or the outsole of the sneaker has herringbone rubber it doesn't really matter it's rubber it's waterproof it's dope lastly with this boot you'll notice that the eyelets have a nice metal material that appears to be bronze or gold but not real gold obviously or I'd be a billionaire and at the back you'll notice that it has a nice pull tab to help you get these dope boots on easily so sizing wise these sneakers I would say run true to size unfortunately I got a size 12 and my big toe is kind of tight there but I'll manage because I'll take out you know the footbed or the insole so that it'll be a little bit looser so I'm not gonna complain too much pricing wise these Sorel boots run for about 170 bucks but you know me I like deals I like steals and I got these bad boys for about 120 bucks so casa question of the day what are your go-to boots? Me personally, I like my Eastland boots that I did a review on a while back ago, and I actually like these Sorel boots a lot. So let me know down in the comment section, what are your go-to boots when it's snowing outside, when it's raining outside, you know, when a hurricane is coming at you? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, and let's talk about it. Hey guys, so I appreciate you guys for watching my video. My sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and even hit that notification button for the one time if your boy treated you well. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.